welcome back to my channel. It's another episode of Hanger. <laughs> so I did this look on Instagram not that long ago and everybody went bananas. And so they asked me to recreate this look and I couldn't be more happier to recreate this look because this is with one of my new colors from Hank and Henry Beauty, Madam Benjamin from my Alter Ego Eye Kit collection. And I'm so excited that you guys loved it and wanted to see me recreate a look that I did on one of my lives. So get ready to get glam. Okay. so. To start this look, I'm super excited to use Madam Benjamin, which is one of my new Alter Ego eye kits from our new launch of our next three colors for Hank and Henry Beauty. Um, everybody's been loving this one, so I'm so excited that this is the look that I'm going to do first of all these three colors. So let's get started. I even wore green. Oh, I'm in the green background. We're a little snazzy today. <laughs> so I am definitely going to start off with my brows. So my brows, I had a little bit of an accident and I over tweezed one of them or plucked or tweezed. So now I had to do it with the other one. So that's why they're all thin. Oh, I hate when they're thin, but one in Rome. Okay. So I've been using this product a lot and I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. So I am definitely going to use it again. <laughs> so it is the Benefit Cabral in shade four. I really, really, really like this formula. I usually use powders and then I will use them with the setting spray, but lately I've just been into creams. So I'm going to use this for my brows and I'm Dosa Colors winged liner brush, but we're going to be using this on our brows instead. So whenever I do my brows, I like starting from the bottom to shape the brows, then the top and then fill it in. I like my brows a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> so after I fill in my brows, I like getting the, the opposite side of the brush, which is a mascara wandy looky thingy right there. Whatever that is that. And I like going and brushing it in because the, the formula will then kind of even out because when it goes on, it goes on pretty dark, but you know, I think this is really bugging me. Is it called a spoolie? I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, well, <laughs> so then I'm going to go in and I'm going to even out the color and then I'm going to go in with the concealer and I'm going to shape my brows. Now, remember my brows are a little bit hella extra, but you know, when in Rome, you know, do what the Romans do. And if you don't like extra brows, then you don't need to skip, you know, you could skip this step and kind of just buff your brows out so that they're not so dark. Um, for my uh, concealer that I'm going to use, this is one of my favorite concealers. I love it so, 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 so much. This is the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. And this shade is SX02. I really love this formula. It's super opaque, full coverage. You only need a little bit to go a long way. I live by this. Um, I don't even, it's not necessarily a, a concealer. It's actually called the Central Skin Enhancer because you can use it as a foundation too. It's really, really thick, but if you mix it with the serum, it goes on really, really nice. Um, and if you use it without a serum, it's a real full coverage. So you might want to try that out before you go outside. So I'm going to use it with a flat brush. I'm going to use a flat brush. Um, this is a Mac brush. The number's not even on it anymore. So, but any kind of flat brush. And remember, you don't need a lot of products. So, so I'm just going to go under. And then whatever I put under, I always drag it onto my eye because I always use, because this concealer is so um, thick, it's really good as an eyeshadow base too. I have really dry eyes, so I usually don't really need eyeshadow bases, but this is just perfect for me because it just grabs onto any pigment that I put on over it. So one of the really big benefits too is shaping your brows. That's why I really like using concealer because it really gets to give my brow, it really gives my brow a nice defined brow. Um, 
I'm always on and off. Like there's times where I like my brows to just grow out really big and really annoying and just have these big old bushy brows. But uh, maybe for like the last year, I've been really into this whole dramatic brow. But if you are gonna do a dramatic brow, this concealer is amazing for cleaning up your brow and giving it some shape. Okay, so I know this looks really crazy right now, but the next thing we're gonna do is the eyeshadow. So once we put the face all together and start throwing on some foundation and some powder, it'll start looking a, less, a little bit less crazy and it'll all start coming together. So let's continue the process. The next thing we are going to use is Hank and Henry Beauty My Alter Ego Eye Kit. This is our new eye kit and this is the shade Madam Benjamin. So the Madam Benjamin is is the loose sparkle on the bottom, which is our Luster Lights formula. And then, so that's Madam Benjamin. And then in the top, we have the two eyeshadows that go along with it, which is AKA Lady Money and hashtag been blessed. Yes. So that's Madam Benjamin, AKA Lady Money, hashtag been blessed. Bitch, oh, come on, bitch. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flat brush to apply this. So I really, so this eyeshadow is a really pigmented formulation. So this is a fat, flat brush. It's just, you know, no name on it either. And I'm gonna take the shadow. And for this eye, I'm gonna do a halo eye. And, but I'm gonna raise it a little bit higher to so make my eye look a lot more, to make it look bigger and a little bit more dramatic. Cause that's the look we're going for today. And I'm all about it. I'm all about doing that crazy look. That's got a little crazy today. Hmm. So one of the reasons why I really, really like um, the Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer is because it's so thick and creamy that it really just holds on to the eyeshadow and just grabs onto it. So whenever I'm using any kind of a matte eyeshadow, especially a, even if it's a, a really pigmented eyeshadow, once I put it on and I start buffing it out, I know that color is going to start to go away. Um, this color is really um, layerable. So it's easy to put it on over and over without worrying about it mixing or getting uneven. So after I blend it, I'm just going to go in and add more color. And then I'll keep... I'll keep doing the step of adding the color and blending it until I get the blend right where I want it to the amount of color and then boom, throw that second color right on top of the lid. So now that we got the AKA Lady Money all over that lid, now I'm going to take, actually I'm gonna apply it with my finger. So I'm gonna throw on the hashtag Bim Blessed so it's a really, really pretty, like, light, light emerald green. So now I'm just taking a small brush and kind of defining that halo. And then now I'm going to take the Madam Benjamin Luster Lights. And I'm going to throw that all over the lid on top of that. So this luster light, actually, if you put a light up to it, you can really, really see all of the different. See if you can see it. Like. Oh. Yes, live your life. So it has a malt, you, there's, a, there's gold in it, but there's also a smaller um, pearl in it that's a rainbow color. So if you actually look up close with the light, you can see all of it in there. It's so pretty. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put concealer on the bottom, the bottom. So I'm gonna do that. And then after I do this, then I'm gonna do the other side. 
So I took a little bit of the concealer that was left on the brush and then I'm gonna go in and add this right on the bottom. Make sure I need this brush. Okay, so I did the other eye and then I used this, what is this, Tared? Tard? Tared? This is from o um, OCC. I think it's Tared. Uh, it's T-A-R-R-E-D. Tared, right? Not Tard. <laughs> so I use that in my waterline for my eyes and now I'm gonna do my lashes and my mascara. Um, so it is a little bit messy right now. It's because after we do the lashes on, I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean up everything and then we're going to apply our lotion, our base and everything. So it is a little bit messy right now. I also did spray a little bit of primer water um, from Smashbox over my eyes to help let everything set, especially the luster lights. Sometimes they do get a little uh, of flyaways because they are so lightweight. So this kind of helps just get them to stick onto that lid. So the mascara I'm gonna be using is one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Colossal Big Shot. And this was the collaboration that they did with Makeup Shayla. I'm pretty sure they already had the black. I'm not actually sure at all, but I went to go get this and I've loved it ever since. So this is the Colossal Big Shot. For my lashes, I'm going to use uh, Nabunsum, which I'm hoping that's the right way to say it. It's N-U-B-O-U-N-S-O-M. I think some people call it Nabunsum. Um, so the lashes in Bella are my favorite lashes. I wear them double stacked because I'm so freaking extra. I have just fallen in love with these lashes. And I've worn them so many different times. I put them on with duo eyelash glue. I really love duo eyelash glue. I've tried to use other glues, like the ones in the tubes. They just don't work for me. I've had issues with other lash glues pulling out my eyelashes. And I never have this problem with duo. And I use the duo in dark tone. So these are... Double stack. So remember, if you like it extra, they the double stack might work for you. For me, they looked beautiful, just normal one pair of Bellas, but I'm hella extra. So I gotta do it a little bit extra. Okay, so now we got the lashes on and they're looking freaking fabulous. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get a wipey and we're gonna clean up underneath and get all this fallout because whenever you're using loose product you know there's always a possibility of some fallout and me I'm so freaking messy I have to do my eyes first <laughs> I try and you know what it's funny if I do it makeup on other people I'm totally fine I could do either or but when on myself I'm just like just throwing it all over my face like yes yes so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer and I'm going to put it all underneath my eyes, around my nose, and over my uh, mustache so that there's no gray that comes out when I throw on the foundation. So I'm using SX02, which is my go-to, and I swear I will try my best to not use the same stuff every video, but I do like using certain stuff. They're like my staple items, and I do hope that, um, you know, because I know it is not necessarily easy for everybody um, to go and buy, you know, new product every time a video comes out. So I'm trying to keep just my staple items the same. So if you do do makeup with me while we are watching this video that you can at least um, always know that I'm going to be using certain things a lot. <laughs> I almost forgot <laughs> to lotion and prime my skin. So hold on really quick. I totally forgot. I was like, wait, hold on, what am I missing? And I didn't moisturize my skin and that would really mess me up. So let me do that first. Um, for my primer, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish. 
primer. I really do like it a lot. I just got this moisturizer that I'm kind of in love with. I tell you guys a lot that I have really dry skin. Glam Glow just sent me this Water Burst 72 hour moisturizing hydrated glow moisturizer. Um, I'm not really like a huge like, oh, this moisturizer is amazing. But this is kind of awesome. I'm not mad at this at all. My skin felt all kinds of plump. I was like, ooh, bitch, you be drinking her water. Even though I'm not, I'm all dehydrated. So I'm just going to put this on with a sponge. Put it all over my face. Okay, so now that we moisturize our skin, now I'm going to prime it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this. It's a silicone primer. Um, it is... It works just really good for me. It used to help me a lot with my forehead wrinkle. I used to have a really bad forehead wrinkle right here, but a bitch got Botox. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna use the photo, um, the Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer. Oh my God, so funny story is I was literally talking to one of my friends and I swear to God, please tell me if if I'm right or not, but I think any, it doesn't matter if you're white, Mexican, African-American, Indian, Native American, I feel like everybody has that old angry uncle and or aunt. And okay, so the reason why I'm thinking of it right now is because I, I was just thinking about what he said. And I remember growing up, he was like that old uncle that like never, ever was nice to you. And you never knew why. Um, so I was thinking right now because I said Mr. Sister. And when I was younger, I don't know if you guys if you guys had to do this in school. But in school, I, like in elementary, you had to go and you had to sell like, like if it was Christmas, you had to sell wrapping paper or like popcorn that had that three dividers. And you always had to sell shit. I don't know why they're always like trying to make you sell stuff like that. It make no sense. Like we didn't get none of that money. That's, uh-uh, nope. That's illegal. That's a real rude, right? There should be some child labor laws for that. So, you know, we had to sell all that stuff. And I always remember me, me being all little, being like, Theo, do you want to buy, do you want to buy some cookies? And he'd be like, I don't even like you and I'm like oh okay never mind so I swear to God every time I literally would meet him or say something he would always have I would literally be a team be like hey are you gonna come to my recital he was just like why are you here I'm like oh okay never mind <laughs> and then as an adult I just saw him I just saw him recently I, I remember going into the room and I saw him and I'm like you're still alive and he was all, hey, how are you, Mr. Sister? And then he started being nice to me. Hi. My whole childhood, I was always just trying to be nice to him. But that rude ass old man. And he old too, he like 55 million years old. So I probably look really crazy right now, but I like my highlights. <laughs> oh my God, I look so ridiculous. So the reason why I do that is, as I have a really dark under eye shadows, bags, sags, rags. I don't know what the hell you want to call them, but it's dark. And then if I don't put any over my lip, my five o'clock shadow always comes out. And I always got a five o'clock shadow. It's real rude. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do over this is I'm going to use the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I'm going to use a 173. So I'm going to be using this all over for some full freaking, full freaking coverage. So I like using this color. And whenever I do heavy concealer, since this is a more full glam look where we're really piling on that, that coverage, I like to start all around my face and then start working my way inwards so that as I start to work my way inwards, that it'll start to blend in with the concealer and still be highlighted underneath the eyes rather than dragging that all the way down by starting under the eyes first. So I'm literally just going to go in all around and then I'll start to blend into 
the concealer. So by doing it that way, now I still have that highlight underneath my underneath my eyes. And it's and I didn't bring it all the way down. And then wherever I covered uh, up with foundation, like my tattoos, I'll just go and clean it later after I do my contouring and set it with powder. So for my contour, I'm going to use LA Girl and Beautiful Bronze. And I'm putting it on with a flat paddle brush from Be Bella. So I'm going to use a brush, uh, 159 from MAC. I really, really love this brush. I love... I love brushes that don't have a lot of, that aren't super dense. Uh, for me, it's easier to blend that way. So I'm gonna now buff this baby out. <gasps> All of the contour. <laughs> Live your fucking life. Okay, so. We got the cream all over our faces, you know, skeet, skeet. <laughs> and now we need to set this bitch in. We need to press it in. So some people like to bake. For me, baking doesn't work. I don't know if it's because I have dry skin and I use a lot of cream. Uh, but for me, if I bake, um, sometimes, most of the times, usually all the times, it absorbs into my skin. And then it starts getting a little textured, like it, it just doesn't look right. So what I like doing is getting, so this is a uh, Patrick Star and Mac. I love this setting powder so much. So I like getting it and then just setting it all over the face before I put like a pressed powder on. And whenever I'm using a powder, I like to press it into my skin. I try to stay away from moving it around because I don't want it to move that cream around. Okay, so now we're going to use a Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Add some depth. Add some depth to that contour. I am all about it right now. I don't care if it's winter, you can still be bronzed. So now I'm going to use a blush from Dosa Colors. So this was the Blush Like You Mint It collection that they came out with. It is such a pretty color. It's amazement. I'm just going to throw a little bit on them cheeks. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay, so now for always everybody's favorite part, some highlight. So I'm going to be using Melt Cosmetics Stargazer Highlight, which is one of my favorite highlights. I love this formula so much. And I'm going to spray it with a little bit of primer water from Smashbox just to intensify the color just a little bit. I really like it because it's really smooth and it doesn't pick up a lot of texture on my face. Which sometimes I have an issue with a lot of texture up on this mug. <laughs> I am loving this. Okay, so you know what? I have always liked greens, but I don't wear greens a lot, a lot. But I am like obsessed with this green eye right now. I feel like I want to wear it all the freaking time. Like, bitch, I got a green shirt on. I got a green backdrop. This ring has a little bit of green in it. And because I got it in downtown LA, I got a lot of green rust all over this. Look at this ring. Because you know I got the shit for $5 in downtown LA, bitch. <laughs> I always forget to contour my nose. Just putting a little bit of contour gives a little bit more of a definition. Because I don't like my nose too snatched. Like, I'm not trying to look like Pinocchio or, you know, what, what's that one guy? Um, Pee Wee Herman and shit. I'm not, trying to get, I'm not trying to have that, like, little nose like that looking like, uh-uh. I feel like creepy people have noses that pointy. Like, no, bitch. Uh-uh. Don't be trying to touch me. We ain't on a date. Back up. <laughs> gonna learn today. You're gonna learn what back the fuck up means today. So that's why I like I like to put a little bit of contour, but not too much. You know, I love my nose. I ain't trying to make it all different. So for my lips, I'm gonna do a combo. I used this combo when I did this look on my Instagram, and everybody kept asking me. So it is Posh Spice from Jeffree Star Cosmetics with Butter Gloss from our Intense Butter Gloss in... Cookie butter. 
from NYX. So, I mean, with liquid lipstick, you don't really need a lip liner, but for me, I need a lip liner because my lips are kind of crooked. So I have to draw my left side of my face a little bit higher on my lips. And if I don't use a lip liner, sometimes my liquid lipstick just is all over the place and it's, it's not cute. It's like one of those lips like you're like, oh, that's a cute color, but mm, execution, C. I'm like, bitch, I'm an A student. I'm trying to give you an A, not a C. So I'm using, this is from um, I Love Sarai and ColourPop's, um, I think this is their first collab because this, I believe, is 951. Yeah, so this is 951. Literally, that's all I use a liner for. Just so I almost like 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 when you're trying to color in a color book, coloring book and you outline everything so that when you get all crazy, you still stay in the lines. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Loving this combination. Give it to me, Daddy. Oh, what's my name? It's Hagar Henry. <laughs> You know what's the only thing I didn't do that I have to remember right now is one, I didn't set any powder, but that actually, you know what? I usually use uh, translucent powder and then I put like a, um, a foundation powder over it. Usually like um, um, MAC Studio Fix powder and or LA Girl Press Powder. Um, but that, that Patrick Star powder really... Um, dried out the the cream of my face, so I feel like I don't really need it. But what I didn't do is I didn't blend, you know, all of this right here. Oh, bitch, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Dun, 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 dun. So this is my final look, you guys. Thank you guys so much for requesting this look. I... Really had so much fun creating it, and it also means so much more because it is from one of my new colors. I hope you guys liked it. Um, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for continually supporting me and letting me know what you want to see. So please, if you ever have any suggestions, please leave them below. If you are not yet subscribed, which you should be, better be subscribed then hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button if you want to get notified when I do post a video. I mean, unless you guys don't want to see me. <laughs> but with that being said, so this is the part where I like to take a little bit of time and send a little bit of a message out to my night owls, which if you don't know are what my followers call themselves. And today's message, I wrote this down because of, his, of uh, I heard it on the radio and I thought it was such a beautiful statement. And I'm just going to read it out to you. And it says, respect your weaknesses because those are the things you're going to have to fight the most. Only you know your weakness. I think that's really, really important. Um, when I heard that, it said, respect your weakness. Um, and that's because, you know, for me, I my biggest weakness was self-doubt. For the longest time, I held, I held myself back because I just didn't think I was good enough or I just didn't think I can ever do something like that. Like even coming out with a brand like little old me, like I could never do that. Um, and a lot of things like thinking I could live out on my own. It was and it was finally until I respected my weakness. And I, I you know, I was just like, you know what, like I got I got to pay attention to that weakness because that weakness is what's bringing me down. And it wasn't until I started to acknowledge that weakness and say like, no, I gotta, I gotta change my, my, the, the, the way I'm looking at everything. So I heard that on, um, on the radio today. And I just thought that was a super important message to share because then when it's worded like that, it makes you really kind of take it in. Like, yeah, respect your weakness. Cause when you don't respect your weakness, it, it'll have power over you and you don't even know it. So with that being said, um, I, you know, I hope you guys like these little talks that I do at the end. I just think it's really important for me to continue to stay as connected to you as I possibly can and do as much as I can to, um, you know, make us better, make myself better and, um, you know, build that connection with you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys so, for watching this video. Please be kind to each other. Please be nice. Give a compliment to a stranger. And until I see you guys next time, bye-bye.